Hello, I'm Nancy Hudson, HHS Extension Educator with Purdue Extension here in Fulton County. And along with me is Abby, and she is from RTC. Hello. So what we're going to do today is prepare peanut butter cookies, and they're going to be sugar-free. Now, before we start, let's just say a few words here. I'm not trying to sell you on Splenda, but this is what I'll be using as the sugar alternative today. Now, Splenda is a non-nutritive uh, type of substance. It has zero calories, and if you have problems with blood sugar, it will not raise your blood sugar. So uh, whether you're looking for uh, cookies that uh, are great to eat or uh, you want a little bit of sweet taste or whatever, this may be the type of cookie that you're looking for simply because, um, let me read you the calories and so forth. After we bake these cookies, Two cookies made with Splenda is 145 calories. Two cookies made with sugar is 265 calories. Whoa. So a big, big difference here. And honestly, when you use Splenda, uh, it tastes a lot like sugar. So many times you have no clue that there's a different substance in that cookie. Uh, the other thing, Splenda is what you use, uh, or that is one of the alternative uh, sugars that you use to bake with. Uh, if your recipe calls for a cup of sugar, you would use a cup of Splenda. Uh, if your recipe calls for uh, three tablespoons of sugar, uh, you would use three tablespoons of Splenda. Now, some of the other alternative sugars are just a bit different. Some of them will have more of a bitter taste, and some of those alternative sugars are not made uh, for baking. Now, I am going to have a class. I'm going to put a plug in here, Abby. Perfect. I will have a, a class at uh, Fulton County Library here in Rochester uh, on uh, alternative sweeteners, and that will be Tuesday, April the 18th at 630. So if you want to learn more about alternative sweeteners, please show up at the library that night, and uh, maybe you can find out everything you need to know about these sweeteners. Okay, we're going to do it. We are going to do sugar-free peanut butter cookies. Now, this recipe only takes three ingredients. It takes uh, two eggs. It takes two cups of peanut butter. Now, the peanut butter can be either chunky or smooth. And you can also, this is regular peanut butter, and it is chunky because I like chunky peanut butter. Same. So if, if you don't care for chunky peanut butter, you, you want to use the smooth. But now you can also get fat-free versions of peanut butter. So if you want to even further uh, the amount of calories in these cookies, you would want to use uh, the uh, low-fat alternative. And then over in the other uh, side here, um, we have two cups of Splenda. So we are going to start to mix this up. You just dump all three of these together, and then we'll put them out uh, on the uh, uh, cookie sheet, and we're going to go with it. Now, folks, let me just tell you, I'm going to let Abby do this. Uh-oh. Simply because <laughs> Abby is dressed up today in her brand new apron yep. with a chicken on the front. <laughs> it's very appropriate for this because we are using eggs. Yep. So... We're, right. we're good to go here. So we're going to have Abby. The first thing I need you to do is take the spatula and okay. put all of the peanut butter, this is two cups of peanut butter, in the bowl. And like I said, um, this is a store brand peanut butter. If, if you prefer, you can use, of course, any type. Um, the difference between the chunky and the smooth in this cookie recipe these cookies will be just a bit drier because it does have the peanuts in it. I think if it's smooth peanut butter, uh, it's, it's a little more uh, of a better texture maybe for your cookies. Okay, then we're gonna put in our Splenda, two cups of Splenda. Have you ever made the cookies with the fat-free peanut butter? Yes, I have, and they taste good as well. Do they? Yeah. Awesome. Now, what we're gonna do with our eggs, instead of just dumping these in here, I'm going to beat these just a bit and then I will let Abby just pour those in. And what does beating the cookies uh, the, eggs the eggs bind your mixture together. Okay. And they 
also uh, have a bit of nutrition to them, but they're the binding. <laughs> I guess you would think the peanut butter would be the binder, but really uh, the eggs are. So she's gonna mix this and she will mix it thoroughly. And usually uh, a size of peanut butter, this is 16 ounces. Usually it will take the whole jar uh, of peanut butter because there's eight ounces in a cup. So you would use that whole jar. And I've made cookies a few times before, but not sugar-free cookies. Yeah. Does that help that there isn't any flour in these cookies to make them healthier? No. Okay. Not in these. These are these are flourless. Because usually you have quite a few ingredients right. when it comes to baking right. cookies. So this is simple. Um, this is a very simple recipe. It's it's a very uh, easy one to do, and you want to make sure that you mix it well. Now, as you can see, this has sort of a, a stiff mixture. Mm -hmm. So if this was maybe a smoother peanut butter, um, it might not be so stiff. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, now I'm going to use a baking sheet here, and I'm going to use uh, parchment paper. But you can put Pam on this. Mm -hmm. Not a big difference between the two? Not a big difference, okay. no. Now, Watch her shove this over here. She doesn't know, but I'm not doing it. Uh -oh. So, anyway, you want to take, let's get this out. Now, it's only going to take these cookies uh, about 8 uh, to 10 minutes to bake at 350 degrees. Now, what I'm going to do, these things are going to be so uh, workable that I'm going to put my fingers in it and just kind of make a ball. Okay. And we are going to line this parchment sheet uh, with these cookies. Now, you want to put them about one to two inches apart because if you don't, they can cook into one another and then you have one big <laughs> A large slam cookie. sheet of cookie here. <laughs> So, so you're um, testing my I don't math know skills? if you, uh, yeah, really. <laughs> I don't know if you want all that much cookie or not, but anyway. Well, I always have a problem getting the same size of yeah. cookie dough. Now, another thing that you can do is use um, an ice cream scoop. I have seen that before. Yeah, and ice cream scoops come in different sized diameters. And some of those you can get them at cooking stores, but a lot of those are specifically for uh, cookies and other kind of pretties that you might uh, for come people out of that the kitchen. For people that bake cookies often, they yeah, need the, really. the professional scoopers. So this is a recipe that's very versatile. You could get kids to help you with this recipe, and they would have a really good time with it. The only bad thing with this recipe, you know, with a, a younger child would be uh, the oven, but mm -hmm. um, as long as an adult's in the kitchen, you're fine with that. But most children, this is easy because it's you're using cup measurements. There's nothing to measure as far as teaspoons and tablespoons and right. all of that. As a, so. as a basic rule of thumb when it comes to cookie batter, mm -hmm. would you rather it be runnier or a little bit thicker like this? I like it a little thicker because I think it's easier to work, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of it just depends on the person who's doing it. And maybe what type of cookie. Right, right. That makes sense. Yeah, because so many of these cookies are just drop cookies, and they may be a little uh, runnier when you do drop them, but mm -hmm. something like peanut butter generally does have more of a texture to it right. because of the peanut butter. Can you tell a difference if you were taste testing cookies between store-bought cookies and homemade cookies? Yeah, I can. Can you? Yeah. I haven't tried it myself, but I'm always ready yeah. for an excuse to taste test cookies. You need to come to the fair and be a, be a oh, judge. Oh, taste? I know. Yeah, if you could you sign go. me up, I am in. <laughs> okay. Y'all heard that. <laughs> You're my witness. Yeah. She's in. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put these in the oven, and I'm going to let them stay for 8 to 10 minutes at 350. And I wanted to show you, I've already baked a few of these um, before Abby got here. And this is what they look like. 
um, as you can see, you want to, when they come out of the oven, you want them to be a bit dry, but now also notice that the bottoms are very well done. So Abby, take one. These are test? sugar free. This okay. is your taste test. They are really good. <laughs> I really can't tell a difference and I have a very, very sweet tooth as far as yeah. I love sugar. I love desserts. Yeah. I think the crunchy peanut butter makes a big difference for me. Do you? Mm -hmm. well, and we both like crunchy peanut butter, yep. so that would make a difference. But these are, I mean, they're, they're not bad. Um, if you want something that makes you feel better to eat it and you mm -hmm. need that sweet tooth satisfied, this is a real winner. So if you want the recipe on this, please call the extension office. Our number is 223-3397. And just ask for Nancy and I'll... I'll give you the recipe and I will help you out. Abby, thank you. Thank you. I get to work and taste free cookies. I know. There Absolutely. you go. There you go. And wear my new apron. That's true. <laughs> Looking good. Looking sharp. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, folks.